Your son had a near-death experience. We need to get him in surgery right away. The pain that I suffered watching my son that close to death. We're in trouble here. He's much worse. Will you call some friends and pray for him? The hospital staff said that your son was not expected to survive. Use the word miracle. I don't want Hollywood to get in the business of trying to make films that they think are for us and then attaching us on at the end of the process to push forward something that is not authentic to the brand. So that, that is the thing that I'm most concerned about. And additionally, since they are films that are rated uh, G, sell higher, make more money than any other category. PG next, the higher the rating, the lower the profits. And yet Hollywood makes 11 times more R-rated films than they do family-friendly films. I think, hello, why don't you wake up and make something for the 75% of this country who, ex who are not offended by faith, rather than to be controlled by the 24% that may be offended by faith. And so those stats need to get in their head and dwell home a little bit so that we can get not only films but bigger budgets so that we can have the kinds of quality to compete in the mainstream market. It's exciting because this has been the year of faith-based films. I mean, we're out here in Beverly Hills and you've got the major producers all over Hollywood who are buzzing about Jesus and about faith as if it, and not treating it like it's a plague. And uh, it's exciting to be included after years of being excluded from the dialogue about films. You know, the funny thing is this, last book I did is the first time that I really opened up about how I think about business and, and what part of me is, is guided by intellect and what part of me is guided by instinct and it is absolutely amazing. Almost every major personality that I've met has said, I get this, I do this, I didn't have a word for it, but this is how it is. I think if you can juggle all the spheres of interest without becoming enslaved by any of them, you can do more effective things in life. And I think all of us were meant to be more than one dimensional. And I think the more you explore where people define you and put a period, put a hook on it and make it a comma. Find out what else you can do and what else you can be. I think moms and dads should be very excited about it because faith-based and family-friendly content itself is more intelligent than it used to be. It is not just something that you have to eat like medicine is faith-based, so it's got to be poor quality. The quality is going up. The scripts are going up. It's an opportunity to say to your child who's gifted in an arena that may not fit a pulpit or a choir stand that you can still do something for the kingdom and still be true to your giftings.